at this beautiful bank, folks. The trolling motor is trying to spook all my fish. We have about one hour of light left. The catfishing trip didn't go well again. Have you seen a bite like this? So, what do we do when that doesn't work? We go catch some panfish on artificial. Look at this, right away. On this beautiful bank, nobody is catching this bluegill. They live here completely unmolested it's super shallow very warm water plenty of food what a life these guys have look at, look at this confident bites they're taking it down with confidence I should try to jig him, but it's kind of windy and I'm afraid I'm gonna go in the, in the brush if I try to jig him. I wanna catch one other fish. Come on. Only bluegill. And this nickel worm, it's like for bluegill it's not even fair. I mean, who can resist a nickel worm on a JDM hook? Let me reposition a little bit closer. Just a little bit closer. Boom! Oh, is this a bigger bluegill? Champions at bluegill. What is this? I wanted to see this. God damn it. I'm not gonna eat you. I just wanted to see this. God damn it. How is my hook? Everything is absolutely perfect. God damn it. I wanted to see this, folks. Oh, okay. This is, this is something else. something else here we go I'm not losing this one this one is shaking like a channel catfish like a nasty channel catfish and right I am right I was probably the first one was a nasty channel catfish too but you don't know until you see nasty nasty channel catfish I hate these things. Alright, let's try this again a little bit further to the left. I think this channel catfish spooked my bujo a little bit. What the hell was that? Another channel? Is this a channel? This one is, this one is going places. Is this a channel? This one is, is going places, folks. Oh, it's not a channel. It's a bass. It's my biggest bass of the year, believe it or not. Already this year, I caught, champion will believe me, I don't know, 20, 30 bass. 
all of them on this lake all of them while fishing for other fish wow he ate the nico worm good Okay. Well, that's not quite a pound. Tell me, don't tell me you are in front of the camera. Not quite a pound, but a healthy little bass. I don't think he's being caught. Healthy fish. Go, buddy. Turning around for a second. Man, they inhale this Nico worm, folks. I mean, they eat it, they just chug it. Sorry, buddy, he's not gonna make it, but somebody will get lucky and eat him. Should I try to jig a little bit? I'm just float fishing. See, always bring a float or some ultralight when you go catfishing, guys. When the catfishing trip goes south, you can catch some channels, some bass, some bluegill. Look at this. They are eating this Nico worm. Look at it. Who wouldn't eat this? I mean, look. I gotta make a video about this Nico worm. I think this exact worm has caught, I don't know how many fish already. Way over 100. Maybe close to 200. With the same worm. Crazy good to the jig head oh oh here's a good fish feels like a decent wood jill and it is man they're eating this thing They are swallowing this thing good. Here we go. See that? Who says that's not fun? Huh? Who says that's not fun? What's your name? Little Boogie. Yeah, but on artificial, it's fun. If you have to get your hands dirty with worms on every cast, I understand. It's not equally as fun. Here we go. Oh, good bujio. Good bujio. Ah, let's try to jig one. Give me a second. Alright folks, let's see if we can jig some with this black and red trout magnet on a Daiwa Gika Bijin jig head. And, and nobody commits. Unbelievable. Oh, 
โอ้โอ้โอ้ That's the running. This is the running. โอ้ก็จะเป็นนัสตี้ช่องแคทฟิชมายกัดดิสสตูปิดช่องแมนฉันคิดว่ามันเป็นแบบนี้ฉันคิดว่ามันเป็นแบบนี้ฉันคิดว่ามันเป็นแบบนี้ Very disappointing. Oh, it's a good cast. There we go. Something else. Bujio. Oh, so nice Bujio for this channel. Perfectly hooked. He will be released in good health. Here we go. Go this way, buddy. Don't go back there. Spook everybody else. One more. Finally, we're putting some numbers with the trout magnet. With magneto el trauto numero uno. Now let's get some more. Get some numbers with the trout magnet, folks. That was not a good cast. Not close to the grass. That's okay. Maybe there's something there. Maybe a bass. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Something angry, angry, folks. Something angry, folks. Come on, folks. Don't be a nasty channel catfish again. I'm pulling, folks. I'm pulling. I have two pound varios. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. What are you? Come on, be a nice bass. Be a nice two pounder. He's too slow for a bass and he didn't jump. He might be two pounder, but channel catfish. Not a bass. No jump, no. No fast speed. Come on. Let me see you before I lose you. Digging so much, gotta be catfish. Yep, it is a goddamn nasty. Ah, oh, this one is too big to flip. I don't want to lose my trout magnet. Hey, you're a little thing. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Here's my net. Oh, I lost him, but that's okay. That's okay. Hmm. Slime the whole thing. These channel cats, they will hit a trout magnet with some with some velocity. I mean, this thing. Took it and took off. Hmm. 
Man, these bluegills folk, you don't know how they hit it with like not just nibble and tug, it's like a ton. They hit so hard. They hit it like they hate it. Here we go. He is a digger. Sorry, buddy. Oh, okay. He's got colors already. It's March 13 and you already got colors. Okay. Mm. My trout magnet is starting to get deformed. Wow parallel to the grass how can you retrieve it all the way there without a fish well that's how by snagging it oh come on come on i don't want to go there and spook uh, man this varivas lately i don't know if i got a better batch or something but lately i've been retrieving with the rivers hook, I bent the damn hook with the rivers. I was able to do that before. I think the batch that the lady sent me, the Catherine, whatever her name is, the lady from the rivers USA, her batch is better. This jig head has been compromised, folks. Let's try black and gold that I just crazy glued. The crazy glue might still be stinky, but let's just try. Let's try that way. Okay, that's a nibble. Nibble. All the way at the boat. Okay. Oof. Feisty guy. Feisty guy. On the black and gold. With the fresh crazy goo. Good one too. Let's go there. Nibbly. Nibbly. After two nibbly, I catch it. So I took a few more. But I catch it anyway. See, the crazy goose stinks so bad, I can smell it. But they care not. They care not because it's more important to eat. Okay, on the drop. Good one. And why were these not 10 inches to get me some home to eat? That's a good bluegill. Again, for this channel, but not, not for eating. Ah, let's get some more. What? Something pulled the rod out of my hands on the drop. I 
I got so many bites on this drive. Finally something. Damn, Buju is aggressive. Mm. Wow, something took it on the drop. I just cast too close to the grass. They do not permit that. Something just hit it on the drop. Good size bujio. Good size bujio, folks. Strong return. You cannot see fish against this background. There we go. Oh, they hate it when I cast it there. They hate it. And then it's good size Buju. See the champion hit said Buju one time and he infected me with his virus. His Buju virus. I think this spot folks is about exhausted. I mean I caught how many fish here? Gotta go find another spot. I mean, there is still some little ones, but I caught how many? Catfish, bass, bluegill. It's probably exhausted. Here we go. Got something funny again. It's something... Something... Slimy folks. Ow! Let go. Well, still don't like to lose them before I see them. Because it could, it could have been a bass. Here we go. Something funny again. Ooh. Yeah, this, this feels like a channel. I can tell them now. It's a good size. Should I risk losing my... Is it spinning and spinning and spinning? Ow! Yep, I lost my jig head too. God damn it. I shouldn't have lifted because I had too many fish with before retying. Should I tie another jig or try to catch some? Let's try to catch some with the float again, folks. Let's try to catch some with the float. Something is there. Oh, this one spot, so many fish. I mean, so many fish. I mean, it gets too deep, and they don't like to go in deep open water. And with the here we go. Something funny again. Oh, is that a channel catfish? Oh, bass. Bass. That's a bass, folks. Second bass from this spot. From this one spot. He is digging. No, 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 no. There's no trolling motor. Oh, he's beautiful. He's got this long lateral line. 
he might be a Kentucky. Let's use my new my new net here. Oh, I lost him again. I wanted to grab him with this. I gotta get my net out and catch these fish. It was a nice bass. And we got snagged. Should I break it or go try to spook the fish? Hmm? What do you think, folks? Ah. Man, this is strong line, it's not the way it was. Ooh. Well, we lost everything. We gotta go there to retrieve the float now. We lost everything, folks. Is my fault? Where is my fault? Okay, we retrieved the fault. No, let's not hit the bank. All right, folks, I'm gonna end this video here. It's getting late anyway, and I probably spooked the fish here. To be honest, probably I didn't. There's probably more fish, but it's getting dark anyway. And I broke my jig, I broke my float, I broke everything. So that's enough for this one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.